Oh, hey art nerds. I didn't see you there. So this package came in the mail today, March 29th and it is from Art Snacks, and I have an idea of what it is because I've been emailing them. So, funny story, I purchased the watercolor box to share with my art nerds over on Patreon, and somehow Art Snacks managed to charge my credit card, so they got my money, but they managed to separate my mailing information from the actual transaction and I had to get on them to fix it. So they said they were gonna send me a spring box, whatever that is, in addition to the watercolor box. Let's see if they actually kept their promise. And it's been like two weeks since I was in correspondence with them. So fun times, watercolor snacks. So this was like an $80 box. There has been a lot of hype around this box. You guys have already seen probably a dozen unboxings. Art Snacks losing my information has just been super great for me. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I paid for this thing, dang it. And technically my Patreon patrons paid it, Art Nerds paid for it, because they're the ones who, but I don't see the spring box, so I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get on them about that. Awesome, A plus. Um, my patrons paid for it technically, so I'm gonna unbox it. I didn't check and see what was in it. I kept myself kind of naive to what was in this box, and I paid out of pocket for this box. Um, when I do the overview where we talk money, we talk prices, and we do demonstrations, I can tell you how much I paid. But right now, let's just go ahead and get unboxing. So this is a full featured box. Inside, we got the uh, core high chroma set, which is kind of a bummer because I think I own this. Yeah, I own this entire set already in a smaller form factor. So I guess I'm going to be sending this entire box to a friend. Lucky friend. The Plumchester P4. Now, a few years ago, I got the Plumchester um, brush and it's pigment based, so it's waterproof. Several brushes. Let's take a look at these several brushes. So they are Princeton, of course, because Art Snacks works with Princeton. And they look like they're all synthetics. They're Princeton Velvet Touches. So for what I paid, I think the core is going to be the majority of where the money comes from. And then a Winsor & Newton pad of watercolor paper. I actually bought a sample pad of this to review on my channel, and I just haven't gotten around to it. And this is much larger. And then the Watercolor Snacks logo. So, um, I definitely, oh yeah, and we also get tutorials. Um, and when I'm doing the demonstration, I can tell you who's doing those tutorials. Um, I was kind of excited because I was kind of hoping we might go a more traditional route. Um, and I was a little bit disappointed to see that the person doing the tutorials isn't really going to go that route. So, that's personal preference. It looks like they're doing very much watercolor intro, watercolor basics. So um, I would say this box is definitely for beginners and YouTubers. So we have our menu. We have a gross white earhead. And uh, let's go over the menu, shall we? Core Modern Watercolors High Chroma Set of Six retails for $13.99. If you've never tried golden paint, you're in for a real treat. Oh, I see. So when she said she was going to send me the spring box, she was just sending me the box that everybody already opened. I should have been like, no, send me the next box because the delay is kind of screwed me over. And this is all stuff I, or almost all stuff I own. Um, if you've never tried golden paint, you're in for a treat. This prestigious brand is the leader in high quality paints. The Core Watercolor, pronounced Core, line is made with a special binding agent that carries more pigment with each brush stroke. It also doesn't use um, gum arabic, which yellows over time. It uses aquasol. In fact, I can show you some gum arabic. See how yellow gum arabic is? This means that um, core watercolors, the blues are more true blues. Um, if you're having problems with your warm blues going kind of green or going kind of muddy, core watercolors are the way to go. And I know this because I've used watercolor, core watercolors for quite a while. I just haven't had a chance to review them for you guys. Um, made with a special binding agent that carries more pigment with each brush stroke. Notice how bright the colors are as you apply them. 
They're going to stay exceptionally bright even after drying. Another awesome feature of the set, you can use the wells on the inside cover of the tin for mixing colors. Windsor & Newton Classic Watercolor Pad. Um, and it's 9 by 12 retails for fifteen thirty-five. Let your high chroma colors flourish in the Windsor & Newton water, uh, Classic Watercolor Pad. This pad is filled with 12 sheets of cold press. Yeah, I figured. Okay, so Windsor & Newton has actually redone their watercolor paper, and that's what I own. I actually own both. But this is the old one. Let me see if I can find the new one. My studio is a hot disaster because I'm doing con prep right now. This is the revised version. It's cotton, not cellulose. Um, people complain that the old version felt kind of gummy, had kind of a waxy finish. I actually have a few videos here on the channel where I'm painting on that paper. I like that paper. I think it's really good for florals because the greens really pop. Um, but a lot of people didn't like this paper. So Windsor & Newton went ahead and released the cotton paper, which I will review soon. So this is, this is old news, not new news. Um, 12 sheets of cold press. Paper crafted from superior quality cellulose wood pulp. Yeah. The excellent textured surface produces bright watercolor paintings and can withstand saturation due to its heavy 300 GSM weight. Yeah, it's 140 pounds. That's not that heavy. 300 pounds is heavy. 140, that's what I paint Kara on. Princeton Velvet Touch brushes. And you get three and they retail. Can you guys believe this? They retail at the total of all three retail for 32.15. I would never, yeah, I would never pay that for synthetics. I would pay that for real brushes. I wouldn't pay that for synthetics. Princeton Artist Brush Company is known for their innovative handcrafted paintbrushes. So naturally, we turn to them. You turn to them because you got a partnership with them. We turn to them when choosing our favorite brushes for this box. Like seriously, y'all? Seri seriously, y'all? There are so many good Kalinske Sable. There are so many good synthetics even. Why are we still doing Princeton, y'all? Why are we still doing Princeton? The Velvet Touch series of paintbrushes features silky soft finish wood handles that complement the excellent performance of their synthetic fibers. Seven years of research and development went into creating these, the filaments meant to outperform natural hair. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. All right, I'll dig out my series seven. In fact, Princeton even makes a... <coughs> Pardon me. Princeton even makes a pretty decent natural Kalinske brush, the 750R. They sent it um, in their Inktober box, and I did not like it as an inking brush, but I like it a lot as a watercolor brush, so why didn't we get that? Because they're being cheap. Seven years of research and development went into creating these the, these filaments meant to outperform natural hair. Yeah, I'm going to see about that. All three brushes will bring a different line and affect your watercolor painting, so get experimenting. It just flew out of my hand. Plum Chester P4 Fine Liner retails for $2.99. It's comparable, though, to a Sakura Micron, and Sakura Microns go for less than that. So we're going to have fun when we do the prices. Artists oh, always need a handy go-to fine liner for completing their proudest projects. Blah, 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 blah. The Plumchester P4 fine liner features pigmented black ink and is perfectly sized at four millimeter in di diameter. Not too fine, but not too thick. Its sturdy nib allows you to illustrate, outline, or write with ease. The ink is waterproof when dry, but be sure to give it a few minutes to dry completely, just in case any bleeding, any bleeding occurs when mixing with watercolors. And then, of course, they charge us for the tutorial, and it's Jess Engel of Studio Jess. Um, and I was really hoping, and I should not have hoped this, I was really hoping with the set that it would be a more fine art approach to watercolor because that's an area I'm weak in and would really love to see more tutorials, more video tutorials in that line that ju aren't just old people standing behind a table with the camera in front of them and you can't really see what they're doing. Unfortunately, no. Not sure how to use the products in your box or maybe you're in need of some extra inspiration to create a watercolor masterpiece. Watercolor Snacks brings you a full tutorial and video and project video hosted by notable artist and illustrator Jess Engel of Studio Jess. Widely known for her whimsical watercoloring videos, Jess breaks down the basics of how to use the products in your box, as well as guides you through creating your own watercolor masterpiece. To access your tutorial, log into your Watercolor Snacks account and you'll see it under the post tab at the top of the page. If you're having Trump planning tutorial below this, shoot us an email at support at artsnack.co. And then they have some information about watercolor. 
I will share it with you guys. The science of watercolor. What makes your watercolor paint so colorful? Pigment! Well, yes, but it can also be dyes and lake dyes. Pigments are the particles that give watercolor paints their color. Powdered pigments are held together by a binder that can vary from brand to brand. For example, your new core modern watercolor paints contain, contain a unique binder called Aquazole. The binder combined with other ingredients determines the paint's flow and style. However, depending on a pigment's specific qualities, the paint's performance can vary even more. Pigment properties, inorganic versus organic. The two basic types are inorganic and organic. Inorganic pigments are natural mineral pigments that come from the earth. Organic pigments are laboratory created carbon compounds, sometimes called modern pigments. Organic pigments are more intense and show remarkable transparency. Some examples of, of organic pigments can be found in your core modern watercolor high chroma set. Opacity. Pigments are characterized as either transparent, semi-transparent, semi-opaque, or opaque. Transparent pigments are, well, transparent. They allow light to pass through them, letting previously applied colors and the background surface shine through. Opaque pigments, on the other hand, block light from hitting the surface beneath and are less effective when layering. You can achieve great depth and brilliance with transparent paint, while opaque paint is perfect for highlights. Tint. When mixing colors, it's important to know the tinting strength of the color of the pigments you're mint using. The tinting strength is a color's capability of changing the character of another color. Paints with weak tinting strength can be easily overpowered by strong paints. Before mixing, you can determine the color's tinting strength by adding the same amount of titanium white to each color and seeing the results. Weaker tinting pigments create light pastel hues, while stronger tinting pigments create darker hues. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this watercolor snacks unboxing. I know it is super late. I literally unboxed it the day I got it. Um, in my next video, I'm going to do the overview. We're going to talk prices. We're going to talk alternatives. Um, but I did want to say that as a watercolorist, this box is kind of useless for me. Um, I know those are really harsh words, but I really feel this way. Old product, custom or their product, but microns are pretty much exactly the same. Um, and multi-liners are the same. So like there's a lot of these on the market. This is not new news synthetics which are not bad but the price they're quoting like most watercolor artists wouldn't pay that for three synthetics it's just not a good deal the core watercolors core watercolors are really high quality watercolors i really enjoy using, using them but this set has been on the market for a long time like two or three years anybody who keeps on top of watercolors has probably had a chance to try them already it's just not worth the i say about 80 dollar price tag that this box cost and um there are plenty i hate doing this to another artist but i'm gonna there are plenty of really good watercolor tutorials available for free on youtube so it isn't really worth the price of purchase for me to learn how to paint like jess when i know how to paint like me or i could learn how to paint like mind of watercolor or owings art or frugal crafter there's loads of watercolor tutorials available for free out there so unfortunately for me, this box doesn't really have anything to offer. It doesn't have anything to offer as a YouTuber because it came a month late. Um, it doesn't have anything to offer me as an artist because it's all products I'm very familiar with. It's all products that have been on the market for a long time or it's products that there are other cheaper versions of this that have been around longer that kind of determined the market originally. So for me as a watercolor artist, this isn't a great box. For me, as a YouTuber, this isn't a great box. And every single time I do the Art Snack Specialty Boxes, from the lettering box to the Inktober box to this box, I'm always disappointed with what they include, either by the price they're charging for what we're getting, the quality of the materials inside, or the fact that there's just nothing innovative here. So I know you guys don't like downer videos, and I apologize that I am being down. I can definitely admit waiting a month for this box is a big part of why I'm not excited about it. Um, but the fact that there's just nothing new under this old sun, at least in this box, is another huge part of this disappointment. Um, keep an eye out for the next video where we talk prices and we'll determine whether financially this box was worth your money. And um, 
and we'll demonstrate the products inside. And I would say we do a challenge, but these are, I guess I can do a review of the core watercolors finally. Now, if you're looking for more information about core watercolors, I do have a video already up here on the channel. I did get to do one, I'm just a busy gal. And uh, I'll link it here in the cards and you can check the description below. You can also check a description, the description for links on where you can get all of these products if you so choose. In the next video, I'm gonna also be talking about dupes or other products that I would recommend over the products that were included in this box. So keep an eye on this channel for more. Thank you guys so much for enduring my complaints, my silly voices. Hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye guys.